Hello, I'm Christian Sosboa, Manager E-Mobility North America for Umlaut. And today I'm talking you through the 2021 US Charging Infrastructure Benchmark Umlaut Executive Summary. The benchmark consists of two major categories. One is the CPO's digital platform and the other one is CPO location. In the digital platform, we look at categories like website, app operation, app functionality, the price transparency and payment. Whereas in the CPO location, we look at the environment of the location, the charging station functionality, services and hotlines, the access and payment, and we also introduce some technical KPIs. Overall, in those nine categories, we have 77 key performance indicators to rate the, the, the seven charge point operators against each other. This year's benchmark was performed in September 2021. We covered more than 2,000 miles on the road in states like Michigan, Ohio, Maryland, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, and Pennsylvania were among the states. This year's results show Electric for America wins digital platform with 275 points. However, Tesla wins four out of five categories in charging locations with a total of slightly over 484 points. Best in test 2021 goes to Electric for America with 701.75 points, followed by Tesla. Charge points, same as 2020, made the third place, followed by EVgo, Greenlots, Blink, and EV Connect. Here's some facts and key findings. We covered 28 EV charging stations across the seven states and among the seven charge point operator. We added Tesla's charging infrastructure and Blink to this year's benchmark, and test vehicles were Ford Mark E and Tesla Model 3. And we focused only on public DC charging infrastructure. Here's some key findings. Overall, the charging network grows substantially in the country. The user experience is also getting better with new charging hardware hitting the roads. We also found clear improvement when it comes to roaming and interoperability, where you can use one app to control different charge point operators. Including Tesla's charging infrastructure was one of the key challenges for the Umlau team. In 2020, we focused on CCS Type 1 standard, and in 2021, we wanted to open up to the entire DC public charging infrastructure. Tesla is not a traditional charge point operator, so we wanted to keep the key performance indicators, but fit Tesla into it. Overall, the approach was to have a very neutral and fair benchmark of all contenders. The DC charging infrastructure benchmark focuses on CPU operation, not on Tesla EVs. As we have previously seen, Tesla is the clear winner in charging locations. However, there is no support for other EVs at Tesla's charging stations. Tesla also doesn't offer roaming and interoperability to other CPOs. The support and hotline are not dedicated for the charging infrastructure, but on the electric vehicle business overall. The overall result of this year's benchmark show that the competitive landscape among the charge point operators diminishes. The bigger charge point operators getting bigger, leaving the smaller ones behind. We have seen clear improvement when it comes to user friendliness and also in the functionality with less charging errors in the field. The introduction of plug and charge is the key highlight of 2021 benchmark. It significantly reduces the authentication steps and potential human errors. Umlaut will repeat the benchmark in 2022 and will also do a separate benchmark for Canada. If you want to find out more about Umlaut, benchmarking, or our e-mobility business, please visit our website umlaut.com.